Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew. Daily events worldwide. We are on April 12th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to Easter 2020. Happy Easter holidays to all who celebrate. I don't know if anybody else knows what we're looking at right here, but I found some very interesting images and maybe a little gift if you see what I see. You see that cross? It's upside down. But we also have a sun diving comet. Look at that. Amazing stuff. This is coming from the Lasko 2 images. More to come. Let's get to space weather. Looking at our sun, still very quiet. We had that departing sunspot, still very active as it's heading away. And the activity that was incoming on the southwestern limb has quieted down, but man, look at these plasma loops from the active sunspot. Departing, thankfully. Look at those rips. Filament eruptions there. Coronal mass ejection. And then looking at the southwestern limb, nothing coming in. Sunspots are not activating. Looking here at another light. Looking at a real-time solar wind, as we did have a peak, up to about 470 kilometers per second. And we've now calmed, well, sorry, we've calmed down a bit from then at 420 kilometers per second. Looking at our magnetospheric plot, this is the last four hours for space weather. And then I was looking at the Lasko 2 image here which shows our heliosphere and all of its activity around it. And then I noticed down on the left corner there, a little sun diving comet or something else. I'm not sure. So I started to investigate. Then I caught this, this bright upside down cross in the sky. Now I'm not sure if this Lasko 2 image is actually inverted, so we would actually be looking at it straight on and right side up. But very cool indeed to catch these images shooting by the sun, quite possibly a pretty sizable asteroid, big tail behind that, and then something else coming in in the last couple images there. Those couple flashes, very interesting indeed. Just wanted to share that with you guys. Let's get to earthquakes here the last 24 hours. Pretty busy, but all shallow. So very interesting indeed. I've been talking about deep earthquakes the last week or so, and then all of a sudden everything goes quiet and shallow. A lot of shallow fours across the world. And we've got this earthquake swarm now in Idaho and as well, California and the Dominican Republic. Lots of volcanoes that are erupting the last few days as well. Looking at a lot of Pacific plate movement today. And as well, this sizable 6.1 Amsterdam Island, France. That was posted about 11 hours ago. So overnight in the middle of the Australian plate and the Indian plate, 6.1. Two earthquake. Looking here in Fiji, see no deep earthquakes in our regular deep earthquake regions, except for Central America. Those were the deepest earthquakes recently, and those are right by Fuego, Popo, Santa, Santa Guita. Looking at earthquakes across Eurasia, from Romania over to Tajikistan with fours as well, 4.4 there in Oman. So 
this is the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Still watching Central America now as it's quieted down a bit. So as of recently, a lot of shallow earthquake movement across the world. The last 24 hours, particularly the North American plate, stay aware and prepared. And as well, the Indonesia, where all these volcanoes are going off, watch for a sizable eruption there. I want to thank everybody for tuning in every day to Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. I love what I do. And I love having you all in the comment section. I want to thank everybody for hitting up the comment section. I'm going to be catching up with you all soon here. There's a lot of comments recently, so thanks for all the likes. Let's get to the volcanoes the last little while. There's been about 10 volcanoes in the past six hours that have been updated. From Fuego to Popo, Sange. Indonesia as well, Ibu in Indonesia, Krakatoa, Era in Japan, Nevada, the Chilean, Colombia, and then yes, observing the 6.1 earthquake, Amsterdam Island in France, and this is a little island that France has claimed, and it's interesting, there's quite a a cyclone developing just north of it. The convergence line from the high pressure and the low pressure was laying right on that 6.1 last night. So there's another... There's more earthquake evidence of atmospheric compression earthquakes as our magnetosphere is being compressed during the solar minimum. Solar cycle 25. Overlooking the United States, a lot of tornado warnings across Texas last night, and now they're heading straight east and northeast across Arkansas, Illinois, and up into Indiana later tonight. So stay aware and prepared, my friends and family in the United States. The extreme weather event has begun. Lots of flood warnings, and watch out, Ontario friends, as these storms are going to be coming to you later in the week, drenching you with a lot of rain. Northern Ontario will see blizzard-like conditions on the backside. And what's happened here is that low from the Pacific has finally made it across the Rocky Mountains through Mexico here and is heading up through Texas. So the front came through last night. Throughout the day today, the center of the low has passed. And that's where we saw the fire up and tornado touchdowns. I'm pretty sure there were two confirmed touchdowns in uh, Oklahoma and as well Amarillo, Texas. Looking at the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike, watching that extreme weather event and huge low I've been talking about the last few days. It's going to head straight into the North Pole, Greenland. Home base here, cool temperatures for the next few days. And then another low pressure system develops Alberta Clipper heading straight south and the cold temperatures are going to hang around because of that huge low that is going to bring blizzard like conditions to uh, northern Ontario and Quebec it's heading straight to the North Pole overlooking Europe pretty sizable low pressure system here right in the coastline of Spain We'll bring some extreme weather and some heavy rains, flash flooding conditions. Also watching a snowstorm head over Finland. And severe dry conditions across China and Thailand, unfortunately. My friend Steve suffocating down there. It's so dry and the smoke from the fires. God bless you, brother. Stay safe down there. And as well, Monsoon rains should be beginning. It looks like most of the moisture and the activity is in the northern hemisphere over the Pacific Ocean with this huge low pressure system. Seems to be like two or three of them that are just spinning around the northern hemisphere right now. 
overlooking Australia, dry, seasonable conditions the next five days. Overlooking South America, that low pressure system developing through Sao Paulo and Argentina, heading out into the ocean, heavier rains through Colombia and Central America, Panama. Overlooking Africa, coastal regions watch for heavy rains and thunderstorms through Mozambique and Zimbabwe, up into the Uganda. Leave you here looking at the Northern Hemisphere versus the Southern Hemisphere. Again, thanks everybody for watching today. Don't forget to smash that like button. Show some love to the dew. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning dew. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.